So early in the week I said if I hit 200 subscribers I would do a tour of the library bar room that we have downstairs. This is probably going to be the weirdest bookshelf tour that is on booktube. The room I'm about to take you in is 300 years old. That and the room next door to it was a little two bedroom cottage 300 years ago and the rest of the house was added as an extension 100 years ago. The bar was there before the rest of the books were. The bar is about 70 years old, it has been well used, they used to have very large social gatherings, did my grandparents and my grandma's mother. And then it kind of went defunct and my grandma, turn it, and my grandma decided to turn it into a library. The books in there range from 100 years old to as new as last year. I feel kind of weird about showing it to you but I did promise so I stick to my word and let's go downstairs. Prepare yourself. We're now downstairs and this is the sign above the door but when you pan to below the door you can see library. So this is one wall and there is a sofa from the 1920s that you can sit and read on. Then there's more books over here. This would make a great background for booktube videos like I don't know why I don't film in here. So you pan over from the wall of books straight across the room across the window and you come to a bar. I know that secretly this is the part you all came to this video for, so I thought I'd get this out of the way first. We have some beer pumps, lots of glasses, lots of wine, some spirit dispensers for when I come in from work and feel terrible. Just kidding. Some more spirits, 300 year old stone wall with some number plates on. And of course a dugout wine cellar. And you can enjoy all of your drinks with this beautiful view of books. Now I obviously can't show you all of these books because that would take me forever. So what I thought I would do is go and put the camera somewhere and just pick out some of my favourite books and show them to you individually. Because as you can see this would take all day. Some lovely brown aged books here though that I am looking forward to delving in right now. Um, I found, I did not know these, I did not know these two books were here and I found them when I was looking for things to find for this video but I'm so glad I found them and they are both over 100 years old each and they are absolutely stunning covers. They are both so beautiful. They're illustrated on the inside and they kind of give an example. Um, this is the tile page and I just think these are so beautiful. Here's a nice little collection of books from the 50s. Some adult Harry Potter covers. Some of the best finds in this room are genuinely on the floor. This is a 100 year old cookbook. It is absolutely beautifully decorated on the inside. I can't focus that, I'm sorry. Um, but there's loads of pictures in here and this really belongs in a museum or something. Over here we have some great examples of 80s book covers. Look how great that is. That is special. And here's a book cover from the 70s. I think this looks great. No library is complete without a collection of penguin books. Here's where I found the Outlander series. There's no date on how old this is, but I've just found this, I didn't know this was here, but I would estimate this has been 100 years old. The damage on it is absolutely devastating because inside it is so nice. As you can see it's illustrated again, oh, it feels so old, I love it. I just found this copy of Gone of the Wind. Um, I didn't know this was here and I'm thinking about reading it but I'm not sure. Um, has anyone read this? Um, do you recommend it? Please let me know. It is a huge book. The so 80s. My grandma also has an amazing collection of crime. Um, she really likes Norwegian and Swedish crime authors. Um, so one day hopefully I'll get around to picking them up. 
I wish I could say that these are all the books that are in the house but then you have my collection of books and there is a small room upstairs on the top floor which also um, has really really old collectible books that they keep upstairs just to keep dry and make sure they don't get damaged because this room is really old and they're really worried about anything happening to it. My family are not booked collectors, they are just hoarders. Some of these books are my great grandmothers that my grandma just couldn't part with because she enjoys reading. A lot, all of these books are here because she enjoys reading. She um, buys a lot of books from, the, from charity shops and then gives them straight back to charity shops, only putting things in here that she thinks she will absolutely read again. She is such an avid reader. I am, have no doubt about where I got my reading hobby from. If you think that this is weird, then I don't even really blame you. I really should spend a lot more time in this room. Like, just grab a really old book and sit on the 20s couch and grab a Malibu or Smirnoff or any other kind of weird alcohol collection they have that they don't even drink but is there for really decoration. Like, we're not a bunch of alcoholics. Um, just on an end note, I thought I would explain all of these um, number plates that are on the walls. My grandma and grandpa, when they retired, went on a tour, like a driving tour around America and they picked up... Um, number plates from every state that they went to so if you recognize any of these states as where you're from then that's cool and let me know there's a lot of them they went to a lot of places so yeah if you recognize any of these as where you are from tell let me know what it's like um because i'm really interested and i hope to do this drive myself one day So I'm back upstairs now. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Um, thank you for watching and thank you for the 200 subscribers. I, I have no words for that. Like, I did not expect to even hit that number in a year, never mind a couple of weeks. I'm so grateful. Like, I can't even put it into words. I really am grateful. Um, hopefully you now don't think I'm too weird for having a library bar in my house. Um, hopefully you find it cool. I think it's cool. Not a lot of people at school thought it was cool. Um, they just didn't get it. They don't get the love of books and alcohol together as one. Nope, I'm not saying to drink alcohol at all. Like, I don't think I'm being serious. Drink responsibly and all that. Um, so yeah. That was a little library tour. See you in the next video. Goodbye.